I can't say I'm massively surprised. I mean, we've had a kind of recession view for a, a while, or rather the recession risk has been quite prominent, particularly for the UK. Um, now, I know you're not a fan of the term technical recession. Um, yeah. What I would say is... We wouldn't say technical CPI is above a no, target. No, we wouldn't right. say right. technical PMIs <laughs> are wrong. We wouldn't say yeah. technical contraction of the economy because the ISM... We would say we're in, we're, we are above or below target. Exactly. We are in recession or we're not. That is true. Though, <laughs> we've been floating around zero for absolutely ages. Yeah. I mean, can the average person, even can the average economist really feel an economy that's trundling along at plus 0.1 or minus 0.1? Yeah. Probably not. We've been flatlining for the best part of a year. That, that's the big deal for me. Yeah. And the fact that we've tipped into recession is clearly bad news. Looking very briefly at the, at the mix of the numbers, seemed like trade was a big drag on, on the overall numbers. So, I mean, consumer spending weak, government spending weak, but investment was up. I mean, it, it, again, these are quite volatile components, but as I said, big picture is the UK has been in a weak position for, for more than a year now. Fair enough. So where's the silver lining then? I mean, you know, that's exactly what Jeremy Hunt and even Rishi Sunak will be, you know, trying to look for, especially as they head towards uh, the election. Is there any silver lining in this? Uh, there's, there's one re relatively big one, so not many people focus on it, but the Bank of England's Credit Condition Survey, which came out a couple of weeks ago, showed that banks are actually making it easier for people to borrow, businesses and people, households. Um, and that, that indicator has quite a lot of forward-looking forward power. So if you put it into a basic economic model, maybe six, nine months, kind of relationship. So the fact that that is easing at this stage with interest rates still quite high, I would say is, is a good sign that things are going have bottomed out or sure. are going to bottom out. Does that improve business investment spending then as well? It has a very kind of strong link to business investment, yeah.